Welcome to Timeline Creation. These are online digital tools that can help you and your students create timelines in the classroom. The one that I'm going to feature is Timetoast at timetoast.com, but there are a couple versions of timelining out there. I just want to expose you to those so that you can have an idea of what they look like. On teachertechvids.com on this section, uh, there's links to each one of these, but here, here's a couple that you might find useful. This is Precedent, Precedent.com. One thing I like about this one is it allows you to overlap timelines, which is a cool feature. Time Rhyme uh, works similarly to Time Toast. And X Timeline, which is another good one. Uh, they're all free, and really it's just a matter of personal preference. So if you get a chance to check out all three, uh, create accounts on all, all three, or I'm sorry, all four, and you can check them out. Some of them have ads in different places, and really, again, it's just personal preference. But for me, I like Time Toast. The reason I like Time Toast the best is because it's got the cleanest uh, output. Uh, I like how it customizes it, and I like some of their timelines and their categories down here. And the, the ads are not intrusive. That's another thing I like. The ads are usually at the bottom or out of the way. All right, uh, let me give you an example of what some of these timelines look like. I'm just going to do a, a click on some of these straight from time, timetoast.com. And whenever the finished product, you have the finished product, you're going to see um, that each of these events are able to be blown up, and they can add images to them and information. In the basics video, we're going to talk more about how to create these timelines, but I just want to give you an idea of what they look like. So students can add pictures, they can add text, and you can see that you can drag the timeline throughout the span of the timeline's creation. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get registered. I'm going to go on back to timetoast.com and show you how to sign in. Uh, all you're going to do is click on this sign up button. It's going to ask you for some very simple and straightforward questions to get you set up. I'm going to go ahead and put all of my information in here. Password, put it in twice. Don't forget to agree and sign up. Now, um, it does not confirm your account right away, so you got to go back to your email program. You got to log in, and you got to get your account information. Here's my confirmation right here. It welcomes you. You confirm the account, and you are good to go. You can see I'm already signed in, and I'm ready to create a timeline. So that's really uh, what I wanted to show you: how to get in there, get started. You can see it only took me about a minute to go in there and and sign up and get ready to go. Now that we're started, um, in the next video in the basics I'm going to show you how to create your timeline and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm.